welcome to the Rap Shortlist Film Festival Awards Ceremony. My name, yes, yes, give it up. My name is Andy Ortiz. I am a reporter with The Wrap. I am also the co-host of the Unwrapped podcast, but tonight I am just your happy host. Now, the thing is with award ceremonies, a lot of them start with big musical numbers, and I, honestly, I love those. So, <laughs> no, I'm absolutely, I can't sing a lick, you guys. That is not how tonight is going to go. Now, as many of you know, the shortlist is The Wrap's annual short film festival that brings together filmmakers from all around the world. In order to participate, these films must have won an award at a major film festival in the past year, making this the most highly competitive festival of its kind. I have the filmmakers in front of me. I can see the bloodlust in their eyes, you guys. Like, it's really, I would keep, like, a safe distance throughout the night. I mean, maybe after we're fine. Over the past two weeks, The Wrap has brought these 12 film finalists to your computers and personal devices for a period of open voting. We were going to go out and like paint the town bright pink, collab with a bunch of brands, but uh, apparently another movie out there is already doing that. So <laughs> awkward. It would have been very uncomfortable. So we simply went directly to the people. And tonight we, ch we find out which films have received the top vote. Past winners of the shortlist have gone on to receive Oscars and other top accolades for their project. Obviously, I will not be handing out Oscars tonight. They don't trust me that much. Believe me, I tried. Basically... This is as close to the Oscars as I'm ever going to get. So when you guys get there, please do remember me. You don't even have to remember my name. Just remember the weird girl that announced your film. That's that's really all I need to make my life complete. Win or lose, though, every film and creator here is extraordinary. Hailing all the way from Japan, Israel, Switzerland, Canada, and the U.S., just to name a few, this year's contestants are among the best and brightest that we have ever seen. Their films have screened at Sundance, South by Southwest, top Oscar qualifying awards, Tribeca, Rotterdam International Film Festival, Melbourne International Film Festival, and more. So please, let's give them a round of applause. We are so excited to have them here tonight. <laughs> of course, this event could not have been possible without our amazing sponsors, Kodak, the Camera Division, Black Magic Design, Scriptation, Columbia University School of the Arts, Los Angeles Film School, and New York Festival. This year's festival's winners will receive prizes valued at up to $10,000 in filmmaking equipment, software, and grants. This is where I get to go into like my game show mode where like tell them what they've won. <laughs> in particular, Kodak is providing three winners with grants for film processing in an effort to encourage filmmakers to shoot on film and preserve this iconic medium. Blackmagic Design will offer winners licenses to use the powerful DaVinci Resolve video editing software. Scriptation will provide the three winners with a year-long license to Scriptation Industry Pro Software, and the camera division will provide the jury-voted winner of the Shortlist Film Festival with a special camera package certificate valued at a minimum of $2,500. So please, let's give it up for our wonderful sponsors. We love and appreciate them endlessly. And of course, last but not least, we would like to thank our jurors who represent some of the leading minds in the industry and have picked some incredible films for you. As part of the Short Film Festival, eight shorts were selected from the top film schools in the country. The winner selected through a process of online voting. This year's winner of the Student Filmmaker Award goes to Sammy Without Strings. All right. I never come prepared with speeches. Um, really thankful for this. Uh, I'm just really glad that the work that my incredible team put in um, is is, uh, is getting recognized. Um, I'm really glad of this story that we think is a really important issue, you know, discussing the commodification and dehumanization of black voices and artists, artists of color throughout history. But, you know, um, in general, it's just something that is often overlooked and kind of watered down in, in discussions even today. Um, and I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the battle over CRT and woke culture these days and how afraid uh, so many people are to acknowledge that things have not always been good at the very least um, and that those bad things uh, affect things today. I don't know. Um, shouldn't be a hot take, but I'm just glad that the film um, has been received well. Uh, it, it was it was made during a stressful time in my life. Um, I feel like I should mention, uh, dedicate this to my grandmother who passed uh, 
before the second weekend of shooting. I remember driving back from Southport, North Carolina to Winston, North Carolina, um, a four hour shoot. Uh, after she passed, like, awesome. I have to go rehearse with some silly little puppet marionettes today. Wicked. Um, but it's all worth it. I know that she and my grandfather, both of them would be incredibly happy to see me here. My mom's gonna flip out when I show her the award. Same with my dad and my brother. Um, but I'm just really grateful for everyone that's gotten me here today. Um, and thank, thank you to the rap as well. Yes, keep it going for Ralph. Congratulations, it is much deserved. Now, I have the honor of presenting a second award. I'm so excited about it. Right now, we are moving on to our audience prize. The recipient of our audience prize goes to the short film that received the highest number of votes on the RAP Shortlist Film Festival page. This year's competition was incredibly close, but the winner of our 2023 audience prize goes to... I can make this pause as long as I want. This is so much power to give me. <laughs> the winner is Nai Nai and Wai Po. Bring it up. Thank you so much. Uh, accepting the award on behalf of Sean Wang, the director. Um... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I am the composer for the film, as I just mentioned, and uh, this is the award for the film. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Might be the best acceptance speech I have ever heard. Now we have our next prize. I don't get to give out this one. They said two awards is enough. The third one is going to go to her head. But I get to bring up someone to present it who is absolutely incredible, just sort of embodies their name. Our jury member, you met him earlier, Elegance Bratton. Come on up. Yes, congratulations to all the filmmakers. Thank you for your incredible work. Keep going. Keep pushing. Awards don't define you. How hard you work is what defines you. But it's my joy to celebrate this film for its experimental, bold truth telling, and for pushing the form of what a documentary can be while balancing the tremendous narrative tension, this film brings to light issues of oppression while challenging us to find solutions. The jury awards the industry prize to when the LAPD blows up your neighborhood, directed by Nathan Trufield. Uh, wow, I totally didn't expect that um, because all all these films are so great, uh, and I I I will never be able to say that my film is better than any of any of them. Um, anyway, I don't know what to say uh, because I definitely didn't think that we were gonna win. But my producer is Will and Catter here, and uh, I don't know. Uh, Thanks to Rap, thanks everybody, and uh, please watch all of the films. Thank you. Once again, thank you all for being here, and one more time, please give it up for our filmmakers. Thank you all, have a lovely evening.